Is that one ounce getting you down to the bottom okay? Yeah. Okay, I mean, good. there's a bit of a current, but yeah. I mean, it's. I just got eaten off. Just you got eaten second. off? Yeah, my shrimp. That sounds good. Disappeared. Disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. You are. <laughs> Welcome to the beautiful Florida Keys. Day one. We're back. Yay. So we got a late start this morning. I'm feeling a little under the weather. She's been feeling a little under the weather the last probably four days. We have some kind of upper respiratory funk going on. Yesterday was our 19th wedding anniversary. Yay. So we went out and had a really nice dinner at the Florida, what was it, the Keys Steak and Lobster House. Yes. It was very good. It was awesome. What very a great, good. what a great restaurant. Yeah, they have good service. The cocktails are always nice, although you didn't have one last night. No, I didn't even drink last night. Just me. And it's about noon o'clock right now. <laughs> he had and to get some extra yeah, sleep this morning. But I popped some vitamins and some ibuprofen, and we're gonna we're gonna tear some fish up. Yeah, we are. We got a bunch of live shrimp that we picked up yesterday at the Key Colony Beach Marina. Uh, they even stayed open a couple minutes late for us. Yeah, what great people in there. Very, very nice people at that, at that bait shop marina there. We were just running a couple minutes behind because we went grocery shopping. Got the necessities for yes. the week. Uh, the place that we're staying at um, this time actually has a nice big wide canal and channel. You could probably see it back behind us. Um, lots of really nice big boats. Um, yeah, a lot of real cheap cheap boats cheap yeah oh yeah pieces of junk yeah i mean probably <laughs> at least like you know a million and you know chump change just laying around yeah here. so um but the water is really clear um we put out our fish light last night yeah I'll, I'll film tonight our light we put in the water yeah we did our fish light last night got that all set up um i caught a mangrove snapper and a baby barracuda yesterday mm -hmm. in the um, right off the back of the boat here um, in the channel canal. Um, but yeah, no, we're ready to go out and fish today. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like 85, sunny, a little bit of clouds. Um, the wind is kind of light where we're at right now, so we're hoping that once we get up and around that it stays like that. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be nice today. I think Wednesday it said it was uh, about a 40% 40, 40 chance of rain, yeah, tomorrow. Um, but, but we'll I see looked, how it goes. I looked at Mike's weather page um, on Facebook, and the radar shows it only coming in like around like 7 a.m. So we actually we might, be okay. might be okay. Good. Yeah. There's so not all those pieces of junk right here. Oh, man. Hey, look, I mean, who would ever want a scout like that? Nobody. What garbage. I would. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's my dream boat, by the way, guys, is a scout. I like that new, uh, I think it's the 45 or 40. No, it's 40 so, or 52, 53. 53 foot scout. It's the L yeah, LHX. Or LHX, something. something. That's my dream uh, center console. So if anybody hit the lottery and wants to help us out a little bit. <laughs> Accepting donations. Yeah. Hit no. the like button. Yeah, Subscribe. right. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys. We'll see you out there. I want to show you guys how detailed the Seymour maps is on the uh, let me switch to the full chart view for you guys look at that you can actually see everything on the bottom out here around the patch reefs on marathon with Seymour pretty cool And just an FYI, when we were here two weeks ago, the water temperature was like no way no. Yeah, it was like, like 67 68, 68 degrees. In two weeks, 
In two weeks, we're at 77, 77 now, so it's already warmed up a good bit. So let's catch fish. Let's do it. I'm already feeling better. I know. It's salt just water. Air. I'm healed. <laughs> Mother Nature's cure for everything. That's right. Salt water. All right. So we picked up about 60, or probably down to about 60. We had more than that. Sarah fished a little bit last night. Fishing with some live shrimp. We are using, let me see your jig real quick. I have a one ounce. One ounce. Let me see it. So we're using a one ounce, one ounce jig. I just had these two 8,000 thunuses re-spooled with 40 pound blue diamond braid. And I'm running about 15 feet of... 40 pound test fluorocarbon cigar leader on these. I always run a lot of leader, like, I, like I've said in my previous videos, I do it. For one, I like having a lot of leader because it gives you a little bit better chance of getting a nice mutton snapper when you fish longer leader, you're tangled around the tip of your rod. <clears throat> and also when you get chafed up on like rocks and or if a fish bites you off, you're not having to retie leader constantly. So that's the method to our madness. That's what we're doing right now. And we'll see. The jig jig heads don't work. I'll switch over to, you know, probably like a 3-0. Depending on the size of the shrimp. That's how I do it. So if the shrimp are real big, I'll put a bigger hook on. Or if they're real small shrimp, I'll put a smaller hook on. So we'll, we will see. Oh. Something pecking you? No. I almost lost my balance. Uh-oh. Yeah, fishing with this tonneau cover. Bimini top is such a pain in the butt. We're about to take this thing down because it really limits. You can't fish off the side of the boat with this thing. And I don't have a T-top on this boat because if I did, I couldn't fit it in my garage. I'm not, I don't like leaving the boat outside. But this thing's going to be coming down in a minute because it's really annoying. I'll help you. You got to be down. I'm, just, I'm letting more line out. Oh. Something getting you? Yeah. Oh. Just little baby fish. They're just pecking. Yeah, I know. I bought a box of squid and I forgot it at the Airbnb. So I'm hoping we catch like so a couple little grunts or something that I can fillet. Yeah. Got our new cutting board set up. Yeah, I don't have it set up yet, but I did. It's actually really nice. I'll show it. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. I like it because it mounts to the rail and it's removable. Oh, did you get hat again? I think so. Like I said, I, yeah, ain't got, yep. no, ain't got no shrimp on it. <laughs> Dang. All right. We'll check back in on her in just a minute. Yeah, that'd be nice, huh? See all the birds over there? Just yeah. So, guys, these are the clips that I use. These are uh, Fisher King. I get these on Amazon. They're actually really nice because you can just take them on and off your line. I'm going to show you how I do it real quick. If you go back in my videos um, to our mutton snapper, not mutton snapper, my bad, our mangrove videos um, from out of Ponce Inlet, I use the same same technique a lot. So all you do is you take whatever weight you want. I use the bank sinkers. This is a four ounce. I might have to smash that a little bit. The hole's not quite, the hole's not quite big enough. So on certain bank sinkers, if the hole's not big enough, you can actually just pinch this. Just to tighten it up just a little bit, and then you can bend it back out. Normally I have a bunch of them set up already, but... Damn, this one may not work. I might have to go to a bigger one. I'm trying to do a how-to, and it's not how to and. There it goes. Okay, so you just put it through there. I should have done this ahead of time to make sure it works so I don't look like an idiot on my own video. I'll bend that out just a little bit and all you do is clip it. So you got your thing and all you do is push this button and clip it to your line, I'm gonna show you. And I particularly like this method um, for mutton snapper fishing. That way, if you wanna run 15 plus feet a liter, you can just unsnap it if you're fighting a fish and then you can reel all the way up like connect this with an fg knot there that's my favorite line to uh braid to mono knot is the fg knot right there why is 
it called an FG knot? I have no idea. Because it's freaking good. Because it's freaking good, that's why. Let me get a, will you hand me a shrimp? Or are you super busy? I'm so busy right now. Okay. Just sitting here. Here, you want to hold my rod? Yes. Hold it real good. Oh, I got you a big daddy. You got me a big shrimp? Oh, God, he's got... He's got girth. All right. Don't let him go. So, put your shrimp on there or whatever you're using. I'm going to run out my 15 ish feet of leader. Look at the man of war coming in. All right, there's the end of my leader right here. I'm going to take my four ounce bank, give me my line. And I don't clip it to the braid because the braid's super, it's a lot thinner, so it doesn't hold as good. So to just put it right right, uh, right before your FG knot. You just squeeze this right here and just put it right on your line and it just stays there. It's magic. Let the current take your, take your shrimp or whatever you're using out there. I'm gonna try to stay away from her a little bit so we don't get tangled because I do have a lot of leader. And just send it down. I do it like a little at a time so your shrimp or whatever you're using doesn't come up and wrap around your main line. That way the current keeps it out away from your, uh, your sinker. Can you see them? Oh yeah, and you might be able to see those jellyfish now. Them things are not jellyfish, they're man wars man. Them things will tear you up. So, but Sarah doesn't have to worry. If she touches one, I am here to pee on her. Thank goodness. <laughs> no, I've heard that man of wars can like kill people. Well, they, it it take it take a lot of a lot of bites for that. But so once your weight hits the bottom, I feel it thud right there on the bottom. You don't want to get it stuck, so I reel up just a little bit. I think the fish on the bottom are afraid of our big shrimps. And they're definitely not afraid of them. Look at them all. Yeah, I see like. Oh, did you see that fish just jumped? Uh, fish just jumped. Yeah. Four for you guys. Nice and close. Oh, something's getting me here. Hold that. Something's getting me. Those you don't want to get tangled up in, guys. Something's popping me pretty good right here. They blow up to get to the surface, and then they use that little tail or their mohawk. Their mohawk? Their mohawk. <laughs> to as like a sail they just blow around when we were out here two weeks ago there was tons of babies so they must have like just spawned come on take it take it i think it's just something little messing with it yeah that's what i said i'm like that's I the just... downfall to fishing with shrimp I, forgot, I had a box of squid I forgot to bring, and I, I really, there we go. That's actually, oh, that's a better fish. All right. Well, maybe. No, never mind. Just kidding. Is it's it... a fish, but it's, uh, stand back from me a little bit. Looks like a decent yellowtail. See, look at this, guys. Film this line right here. See, you get to your end. You can just unsnap it and reel it all up. That's a nice yellowtail. Great job, there. baby. I wish it was twice that size, but well, it's not bad for a first fish, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Good job. And they got to be 12 inches to keep them in the keys. Well, you got your measure over there. It's a big hook for that little little guy. short guys by no yeah. he's right at it. it he's right at it he's it, right at a 12 incher do you want him or throw him back no i want him you want him yeah all right Oop. he's slippery <laughs> slippery little suckers come with me as i reel up my reel 
check my shrimp. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't even gotten, like, not even like a single little nibble. Alright, one in the box. One in the box! Cool! Yeah, baby! Good job! Damn, that big old fish is still on that screen diving around. I know. I wonder if it's a big old cooter, or it could be a king mackerel, the way it's darting around like that. I still have a shrimp. You still got a shrimp. Something's popping me. We're gonna give it probably another couple minutes here and then if we don't start getting on something a little better, we're gonna do a hop, skip and a jump out to a little bit deeper water. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was a good fish. Oh man, the heartbreak. Oh, something got my whole hook. It was a toothy critter. Yep. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's shaped way up there. Yeah, that's might've been up in a rock. Cause that's, my lines tore up way, way high. Oh well. Do over. Good job, babe. Feels decent. I don't yeah. know what it is. Oh, a little grouper. A little grouper. All day. Little red grouper. Oh yeah, he's cute. Yep. Fortunately, grouper is out of season, and he would be too little anyway. Yeah, they are. Fish on. Oh, Sarah's on. Feel like a decent fish? It's a yelly. You got a yellowtail? Nice. Yeah, he's a little tiny though. He's too little? Too little. You might measure. I'll measure. Ah, damn. Come on. Uh-oh. There he All goes. Right. Yeah, he's not gonna make 12, I don't think. I don't think so. Oh, come Start on. Start from the back and work your way down. I get. So we don't get pinched or really... stuck. There he is. Quick release. How about that? <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to film a video and Sarah's not going to be afraid of the fish. <laughs> these things that I'm afraid of. All right, look at the, look at the uh, They can get you. I had one break off in my finger when we were fishing, bottom fishing here uh, a couple weeks ago. What's that, about 11? 11. 11-incher. No good. Off you go. Woo! Free dive. All right. The fish bite is on. What you got? I got me a little porgy. Very nice. I was just free lining and then I started a reel back up and he was you out. Nailed it, huh? Yeah, but All right, so we moved back inshore. We're in 20 feet of water. We bounced around the outside edge and we only had a few hits. I tried maybe like four different spots. Middle of the day, that might be something to do with it. I don't know. But we moved in just a little bit. We're gonna try to catch some uh, yellow tails. I switched over to my. You switched over. What'd you switch to? Quarter ounce. A little quarter ounce yellow tail jig. Yellow tail jig. Cool. Yeah. And I've got a, I've got a, uh, I think a 1.0 or 2.0 circle hook on just with a split shot. So we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna use these little baby shrimps. Perfect. Yeah. They are useful. The little salad shrimps. 
See? So cute. All right, fish on. I switched it up a little bit. I switched back over to my 4,000 Stratic. Just because we're in closer now. This is 30 pound line on here with, uh, I believe it's 15 pound. Aww. Nice little grunt. Nice little G runt. I'm gonna keep him because if I need to cut him up for some bait, we'll have some bait. Because we're running low on shrimp already. There we go. Nice. It's like a yellow. Good shot, baby. Oh. Are you on too? No. Double? No. No. I think I just got had. No. Great job, babe. Give me the measurement. No, he's too little. Pretty fish though. You guys want to bring your family out here and catch these things all day long? Pick pick pretty much any patch reef out here in the 15 to 20 foot range and you'll catch them. And they're good eating. Yeah, and they're very, very good to eat. So. Show. All right. That feels like a better fish. Oh, you got a nice fish. Uh -oh. Holy snake, he's taking drag up just a little bit. There you go. That's good. Sarah's got a nice, nice fish on. <laughs> you might have them. Don't do it too much. You only got like 20 pound line on there. No, keep your rod tip bent. There you go. It's working. It's working. Oh. Uh... Yep. Pull it, pull down. Sarah's got her a nice, nice fish on. You want to step down on the boat so you don't fall? You're on the other rod. Yep, yep, yep. Good job, good job. I turned. Oh, oh he's off. Yep. Yeah, man, that was a good fish right there. I bet I had a king. Yeah, it was fighting like a mackerel of some sort. And your line's cut, as expected. It's very difficult to land any type of mackerel really on a 20-pound test leader. Yeah, you gave it your all. I did. All right. Where's my scissors? Oh, they're up there. Will you grab them? Yeah. Well, <sighs> dang. dang. That's all you got to say about that. Dang. No, you are. All right, I'm on, baby. I'm on. Got that little yellow tail. That might be a keeper there. That's, that's a bigger tail. That's a, that is definitely a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. That's probably uh. 12 and a half, 13 incher. Measure them though to be on the Of course. Be on the safe side. Oh, I'm getting blood all over the. Yeah, all right. We gotta wash down. We can handle it. What you got there, babe? I think it's another big, big yellow jack. Look at that. Tight, tight lines. Keep them out of that trolling motor. That rod tip bent down. He's a fighter. Heck yeah, babe. 
Good job. I see color. Yeah, definitely. There it is. Another wow, one. that's a nice size one again. Yes. I don't think he's all the way done yet, but he might. Nope. Well, you got him. Woo. Yeah, I know. I really want that net. I don't like lifting them up. That's how they get off. You want to grab me that net out real quick? Sure. Hold, trade me for a minute, hold that rod. Then I'll pop this net. This net's kind of a pain in the butt. There we go. In the net. In the net we go. That's bigger than the last that bigger, one. It didn't fight as hard as the last one though. I mean, it looks bigger, but. Yeah, it might be. nostrils on that fish oh my nose. god he does he's got a bull nose <laughs> looks like a dinosaur mm -hmm. it's like i didn't think that fish, fish breathe through their gills so why do they have to have nostrils they still smell <laughs> oh <sighs> yeah nice job babe let me nice hold them up job. real quick uh-oh Sorry, get that hook. He's a fighter. Yeah. Don't you let him go. I don't want to. I'm not gonna try to anyway. Another nice one, guys. Another nice one. Great job, babe. Yeah, yeah. Is he gonna eat good? Yes, he <laughs> yes, is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh gosh. Heck yeah. Way to go, Mr. Long. All right. All right. I'll help you put him on ice. Thanks. I'm excited to try that yellow jack. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, I love we'll, sashimi. We'll, we'll, we'll thin slice it up for some uh, sashimi, and we'll uh, we'll just sear some. I'll give it a whirl. Well, um, like, yeah, because it's going to be a white fish. So, and I know how you are about white fish. Yeah, you got a fish? Oh, I thought I did. Well, generally, when I eat sushi, I'm not a big fan of white fish sushi. I like tuna, I like salmon. But we'll see. Yeah, I, have I, had, mean, I've, I have had Wahoo. Wahoo is phenomenal. Raw. I love Wahoo raw, so I guess I don't but dislike all white fish. They say that this is but at the sushi restaurants, like the white fish the that sometimes comes on top of the rolls. I'm not a not a fan of it. We're just a rocking and a rolling. I'm just hand lining, just letting it drift. Let it go with the flow. Until you feel it start taking off. I'll tell you though, the, oh look, there's a baby man of war. Yeah, there's a little baby one. The, um, the water clarity this go around this, this week is so much better than it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, you can actually like see like the reef head and yeah, you can see all the way down the bottom. We're in like 25 feet of water. Yeah, you probably can't see so it on the nice. GoPro. I don't have a polarized lens on this, but I would love to just jump in and go fish. Or go I don't know if you'll be able to see it through my sunglasses or not. Oh, I ain't got no more strength. I don't know if you can see down through my glasses or not, but the water clarity is excellent right now. Yeah, definitely. Did you get had? Yep. As per my mo my my motto today, it's like that shrimp almost. It's a little tail, too tail hooking them. Tail hooking them. Well, it looks better when you do that because so. then it looks like it's sitting on like a little 
Like when Sitting you do all happy it, like. when you do it like that. Oh, come on. Just like that. It's a winning combination. Yeah. Look at those hot pink nails with that hot yellow. Dang. I know. Color coordinating. I am. I got my pink and orange bathing suit with my pink bottoms on, my pink toes. Dang. We call that bougie. Oh, wait, and I have my pink hat, too. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about our new uh, decal that I had done? I think it looks pretty good. Stands out. It's nice and bright and vibrant, just like Sarah's bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love to have a little bit of a variety and bright colors. I just want to see you catch a fish for this camera. I know. It has not been only my... Only so long I'm going to hold it for you and not fish. It's not been my day today. I just had like a little nibble. Yeah, something's popping. I see your line. Oh, probably just like little... Oh, that was a better one. Yeah, Dang. take it for an extra second. I know you say that and then they just eat my shrimp anyway. Yeah, I know. Like right now. Is it gone? Yeah. For oh sure. goodness. Alright, I'm putting the camera down. <laughs> You've had your chance. Okay. To be the third person view here. So this is our new cutting board. It mounts to the rail. This T-top thing's or my Bimini top's a little in the way, but it is kind of nice because for boats that do have these rails, it just locks. Oh, hang on. Drop it down in there, and it just locks right in there. I even engraved our logo on it with my CNC machine. I gotta sand a little more. This is a real soft plastic, so it kinda left some shavings in there, but I think it turned out pretty cool. It's made by Brocraft. I don't know if you guys can see that. B-R-O-C-R-A-F-T. And I believe you can also get rod holders that, that oh, mount in these. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking about a cutting board and you're hooked up. Dang, another grunt. It's Are a bigger, a little bit bigger grunt. All right. Well. I know it's not what we want, but it's a fish. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, I could be choosy. Yeah, Because this one's going to go right back in the ocean. <laughs> you're going right back where you came from, buddy. Look at that bright pink mouth. Yeah, they do. I'm not sure if these are the same grunts that we catch the big ones over on the west coast or not. Maybe somebody knows. So when we go fishing out of Crystal River or we go out in Steam Hatch, you actually catch these what I call pink mouth grunt. They look a little whiter than that though. Oh! And I'm not sure if it's the same species of grunt or not. But there's times we've caught some that are, you know, three or four pounds over there. Uh, pink mouth grunts. Oh, come on. Where's the, the pliers at? I gave them to you. I hear them. Okay. Oh, swim away, little fish. Uh oh, he's upside down. Come on. Give it a kick. There he goes. All right. He just had to wake up for a minute. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, he he felt good. I, I was sad. It's okay. There's, There's a whole like school, school of fish on. down there. I don't know what they are. They're a little too deep to tell. There's a blue one. Yeah, that's probably a, a that's a, probably a big parrot fish. Parrot. I, I need to order a, a polarized lens for this camera. Then you guys might be able to see better. But that was a really really bright blue fish that went by. What was that fish that we caught on the headboat when we were here last time? I thought it was a parrot fish when he first pulled it up, but he says it was like a raz or something. Raz. Like R-A-Z, if that sounds right. Or a ras. Ras or raz. I can't remember what they called it, but there was a few of those caught on the headboat out here um, when we were here uh, about a month ago. All right, guys, we just got back. We got the water running in the engine. The boat just got washed hosed down. Hosed her down. I'm not scrubbing it just because I don't want to. We're going to dirty it up the whole week, so I hose it down with fresh water. And then we washed down our rods and our reels. Remember, keep the salt water off your important gear. Super important. Uh, we have a couple of fish that we need to fillet up. And we have our fillet table and cocktails poured and ready to go. 
So, I just have to comment, too, on the most beautiful foliage on this property. A bougainvillea. There are a bunch of hibiscus plants out front. The whole side of this hedge right here just looks absolutely gorgeous with the different colors. Nice backyard, easy, low maintenance. You ready to get on them fish? Just like me. Easy and low maintenance? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Sure. Let's do it. <clears throat> Oh, should we have bled them? Probably. I forgot though. look like it got into the meat so be all right should be good Jimmy's over here filleting on this here fillet table one of the yellow tails yellow jack oh I meant yellow jack that's what I meant to say Need your glasses? Yeah, this one's ripped my balls. Yeah, it's it's beaming. We get a uh, west sunset here. The house gets kind of hot <laughs> with the. Yeah, I know it gets very hot in that with house. With the wind, or with the wind, with the sun mm, yep. setting. All right, so word to the wise: something that we will do tomorrow if we catch another one of these is bleed them out yeah it was stupid on my part I, I i know better and i should have but it'll be okay getting up around that rib meat yeah i missed a little bit uh, not much healthy fish though mm-hmm this is the second one that you caught. Right. The first one is still on ice. It's got a little bloodline, but other than that, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks great. But we'll cut out that bloodline and... Oh, the seagulls have come. The pelicans are making their way in. <laughs> There's four of them now. Pull. Okay, put that up here so the ants don't get in it. There's a lot of ants down there. Hello! It was a great day of fishing and we really got on them today, didn't we, babe? We did okay. No, we got a couple of the yellow jacks and um, like we said earlier, we're going to try them a couple different ways. Our really go-to um, with any kind of like fish in a pan is typically to do a little bit of blackening seasoning. So we're going to do that with a little bit of fresh lemon. And then we picked up for our steak marinade, this Pirate's Gold Original Marinade, but it is mainly soy sauce and pineapple blend. So on the side here, it says that you can use it um, as a substitute for soy sauce in your favorite recipes. Cool. So because we do not have soy sauce, we're going to try it with this 
um, a little bit of sashimi style, right? Sashimi style. Or nigiri. I never know the difference. And one's with rice and one's without rice. We're going to do it without rice. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any rice. We're not great about that. So we're going to thin slice this uh, yellow jack. We're going to try it uh, sashimi style and then we're going to blacken it. I've never had yellow jack at all. Actually, the last time we were here in the Keys, I threw back several until everybody's like, oh no, that's really good. You should eat it. So <laughs> this one's been on, it. yeah, this one's been on ice. Um, so it's nice. Yeah, and this like, was the smaller one and this was cold. the underside of the filet from the backbone down. Um, I know generally like with tuna, that's the better, the sushi. So we're going to try it that way. I did see something. Ooh, 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 yeah, there you I did that. see something like that on the, um, I think it was just on Facebook the other day, um, actually about like the different cuts of the tuna. There's a lot. That you use for different parts mm -hmm. of cooking or not cooking. All right. Give it a whirl. Let's see what it tastes like. Let me, gonna... let me get this camera in here a little closer. Hang on. Are you not gonna try it? Yeah, I'll, I'll Are you definitely. I'm, no, not at all. I'm not scared. I'm just. I'm not a fan of. Normally, I'm not a fan of white fish, raw. I love tuna and salmon. Mmm. Is it good? That's actually really good. It's very tender. It does not have a fishy taste like at all. And this soy sauce. Marinade is delicious. Very good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad that we picked that up. West Indies Spice Company. Um, if you haven't tried it. Very good. Hold it up there again so I can focus on it. Okay. Yeah, it's so good. And it does have a very, like, strong soy flavor, but you could taste, like, the other little, like, seasonings in you it. You taste the pineapple in it? Yeah. Yeah, so it almost kind of makes it a little bit sweet. Here. Awesome. Come here. Hey, Try piece. Camera back just a wee bit so I can fit in the frame. Yeah, it's I'm a, a, I'm a lot bit, taller than you. So it's a little bit more of like, um, I'd say it's probably like a little bit more firm oh, than good. like. I don't. I don't want mushy. Than tuna. But it's extremely mild for a whitefish. Yeah. Does it freak you out that it's white and not red like tuna? <laughs> no, I just tuna has such a good flavor. It's just hard for me to eat anything else raw except for tuna. And wahoo. Yeah, it's okay too. Wahoo's great. I'll stick with tuna raw. It's definitely it's not my favorite. It's not bad. It just all you taste is soy. Where with tuna, tuna tastes amazing. And salmon has a very good flavor to it. You do have, yeah, you do have like a little bit more of like a... And to me, it's like this has really no flavor. The only thing you really taste is the soy sauce. Let me try cutting know. it up a little bit different too. I don't know how. No. I just <coughs> to do it like that. That was actually a little bit more chewy to go against the grain. Don't do that. Go with the grain. Or, um, yeah. So you can see like the, the muscle kind of going like this. Use your knife and cut. Yeah, you always want to cut it against it. Like that. And then it's nice and thin. And then that's definitely way better. All right, good. I'm definitely a tuna girl too. I have to say that. But now I'm interested to see what it tastes like. All right. Also, word to the wise, we bled this one out. We did not bleed these ones out yesterday. So this is the one that I caught today and you can actually like tell a little bit of the difference and you can't really go by that babe because the one was way smaller. I know, but this one still has like a little bit of like that like you can see it in the yeah well we'll, we'll blacken it and uh, a little bit of blackening seasoning just do it nice and lightly and 
We'll see how it turns out. See how it turns out. Oh, that's not lately. <laughs> you always, you always tell it me. It come out like, a little faster than you think it was going to. Yeah. <laughs> and then like if I don't put enough and then you're like, do more. <laughs> I'm just going to rub it down. Rub it down. All right. I need a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. I'll be right back. All right. All right, I'm filming. Okay. All right. In my wobbly pan it goes. Something that we don't have the, always the high quality <laughs> of cooking equipment when yeah. we do Airbnb, right babe? Yeah, that's the way it works. We have to rely on what we have. Look at that. I'm gonna like this way better than I liked it raw. Delicious. Guaranteed. We decided to blacken the rest of it. Yeah, we decided to blacken the rest of the stuff we were gonna eat raw. I liked it. I don't know. I, I'm sure like if I was out on the boat all day. I think I would like it better if maybe we had like some kind of like a sauce. Like almost like that, um I know you don't like it, but that wasabi mayo, like what <laughs> comes on in like pokey nachos or something and drizzled it with something else where it had a little more flavor. I would probably that sounds like weird. it better but yeah you know. i've never been a wasabi person i don't know i just can't yeah I'm, i don't like it's straight wasabi spice. but i do like the wasabi mayo that comes in pokey nachos with the seaweed that's one of my favorite things yeah well i mean to each their own i like soy sauce you like wasabi sauce oh she's a hot she's a poppin all right, guys, time to flip her over. I do kind of like this. I was going to say, I kind of like this. Oh, baby, look at that crunchy, crispy outer. Woo! Makes you happy, don't it? Makes me happy. Well, it makes me happy that whenever it, whenever I turn it over, it actually has a little color on it. Yeah. I'm hungry. Now. FYI, we're not just eating this tonight. We have a whole other meal planned. Um, we are making some steaks that we're marinating in that pirate's gold. So we're not making any sides nope. to go with this. This is truly just a taste test. A taste test. Because I've never had it. Yeah. Um, I will definitely be keeping them from now on. I yeah, think. I mean, if they, I if mean, I they think had it's gonna zero be... fishy taste raw, so they're going to be really, really good blackened. Uh, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's going to be really good. It's, you know what, though, like, too, you know, I think it's all about, like, the water quality that the fish is raised in. You know, down here in the Keys, the water clarity and the quality is so much nicer than, like, if we were to go off of, like, Ponce Inlet. Well, the water, water quality is really good out of Ponce once you get out. A little ways, so yeah. A little pretty blue water. But you around. have to go a long, long way. Yeah, it's so we nice were, fishing here because you can go. I mean, we were only four, maybe, maybe four five miles. miles out. Yeah. You know, when we when we go to fishing out of ponds, you know, it's a depending on where I normally fish is tw twenty to thirty miles out. So it's you know it's a long way. It is. It's a whole so, day. It's nice I mean, we to can, come here. Today we were actually able to like jet out. Like the, the ocean conditions were perfect. Yeah, it was awesome today. Um, so much better this trip so far than last trip as far as conditions go. Golly. We're only in a 22 foot boat, so it's nice to be able to yeah. run, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour. And you're, you're fishing in 15 minutes. Yeah. And literally like there were boats for days out there today. Yeah. It, so it was, it was a good a lot day of people for fishing. Out there today. Yeah, a very good day for fishing. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get on some keeper muttons. We caught three today that yeah. were undersized. I'm going to bring my relief band tomorrow. I'll be way yeah, more energetic Yeah, bring that band. Would you stop to hear you complain about you're going to puke? Today was, I did not complain one time. Mm. I said I felt a little queasy, mm. but I wasn't like hanging over the side, acting like a baby. I'd say she's probably done. What do you think? Done. Yep. Let's get her out of there and give it a whirl. Let me see what the other side looks like. Oh, even better. Oh. 
Beautiful. Oh, I don't have the, I don't have the, the light in here, so it's a little bit. Let's wow. move. Let's move it over to this counter. Yeah. Where I got my my light set up here. My Mac Daddy light. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful that is. Hang on, let me focus. On that. Okay. On my. Looks good. Paper plate. Hey, that's how we roll. Don't judge. Little lemon. I always like fresh lemon on my fish. I'm sorry. That is just something that I. It's good that way. That I love. I love me some citrus. All right, let's do give it, it a whirl. Let's do this. This is so. What we're doing here. This is. This is the one that I didn't bleed out when we caught it, and this smaller one is the one we did bleed out. So I don't think it's going to be noticeable after you blacken it, but. I need to get in the habit of, of bleeding out a lot of fish. I never do. Normally I just throw them in the ice and that's how I've always done it. But mm. That is so good. Yeah? Yeah, it's very... It doesn't taste like fish. Like that's what... I, it doesn't have like... It's super mild. I like it a lot, actually. I would have never thought. That's damn good. Yeah. It really is. All right, I'm gonna try my. Oops. Mm. That smaller one's more tender. He was just a little baby compared to those ones that you caught. Yeah. I think this one may have been like, maybe like two to three yeah, pounds. This one was small. Well, you'll see yeah. it in the video. But. I think I like the smaller one better. I think the. I really can't tell that much of a difference. You can't. I can't. No. I just don't think this one's cooked quite as much in the middle as this one. This one's to me is a little more tender than that one. This one tastes a little more firm. It feels a little more firm. Honestly, there's probably about a 5% difference in, in both of them in my opinion. Yeah. But Either way, delicious fish. Yeah. I'm never gonna throw them back again. No, definitely not. I would. Uh, I don't this, think there's any difference. If you're gonna blacken them, I don't think there's any difference bleeding them or not bleeding them. Raw, 100%. I would bleed them, but. Yeah, for sure. That's. I'm glad that we did that today. I would not have eaten that bigger one mm -mm. like that. That would have been too much. But this smaller one, because I think because the fillets were so much like thinner, it yeah. made for a better sashimi mm -hmm. style. Anyways, these. For sure. These fillets were quite thick so I probably wouldn't have wanted to have that word that thickness word up mm. overall yellow jack for the win I think that would make for a great fish sandwich that'd make a damn good fish sandwich you know call me crazy but it has I would say the small one had a consistency of wahoo you think it was that firm yeah yeah, I think you are a little crazy. Because I thought it was a little bit more tender. I don't know. I don't know either. I guess you guys are going to have to go out there and catch one. Yeah, go catch one. Get, let us know what you let think. Let us know what you think. Make sure that you comment below. <laughs> no. And? Like and subscribe. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This was uh, day one in and the Florida Keys. I'm hoping we can get day two. several videos out of this trip. So far, I think day one and day two are going to be combined into one. Yeah, we're combined day one and day two. Because we caught kind of like the same fish. Yeah. So. Um, I did bring um, three Metallica 25s, so I do want to at least try to get Wahoo one or two oh. days while we're here. They still have been catching them out there, so. I brought all my uh, DTX minnows and my Yozuris and all my trolling stuff, so. In this boat, it's going to be a little tricky to troll. I've never trolled out of this, out of this boat before, but we're going to give it hell. I only brought three rods, so. Sometimes we have to be a little bit creative. So you ordered some rod 
extenders that they're just the 90 degree help. rod holders that you can put in the rod holder i'll show them to you guys if we do end up getting out there to troll um that's pretty much the only option i have on this boat i'm not putting outriggers on it so we're gonna make it work and we thought today even we saw like a little school of possible like tunas maybe some bonitas yeah it, it was popping. it was your little black fins or uh, or something popping i put a big popper on i couldn't get them to hit it but we're gonna we're gonna try again tomorrow we're gonna give it hell tomorrow we're yeah. gonna give it hell every day we're here so well, yeah that's what we do that's we're living we naughty duh, duh. Every, everybody know that boy every <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the flip side bye